bring back in retired Yuma, Arizona Sector Border Patrol Chief Chris Clem on this. Uh, Chris, I'm so grateful for your perspective on this because ICE says that this convicted murderer was released because of the national bed space shortage, that there are 4,000 uh, officers managing 7 million non-citizens. In your eyes, is this an excuse? Well, it's actually the reality that is going on that's uh, started playing out as soon as this administration took over. When you send out a, uh, a roll out a welcome mat and then roll back all the policies and practices and requirements that have been put uh, forth, you know, for uh, years uh, prior, this is what happens. And it is ridiculous, like I said in that segment earlier, that uh, this is a betrayal of the administration by not allowing us to truly use the enforcement system as it's designed, right? Border Patrol catches, they either prosecute or they turn over to ICE. ICE is supposed to accept those, those individuals. They did, but they released because of lack of capacity, lack of bed space for a convicted and known murderer. That's unacceptable. And it's really, it falls in the hands of the, the White House and DHS because we told them detention is a priority and it's necessary to do our job. They reduced uh, ICE's detention capacity nearly in half and reduce uh, private contract uh, detention. So this is the result. Thank goodness we didn't have any other known crimes committed by this individual when he was released. Well, explain to us how this happens, because the news nation uh, sources are telling us on this, ICE was aware of this man's criminal history. Isn't ICE legally required to keep anyone with a prior murder conviction detained? Well, they're supposed to take everybody, right? And then, then they have to prioritize. And, and people from special interest countries, those that are uh, uh, you know, working on behalf of the government in a sense as a witness, things like that. But especially when you have a criminal alien like this with a murder conviction that is known from a country that we have a relationship with, this person should not have been released under any circumstances. Um, I feel sorry for that that detention officer that made that mistake. I'm sure uh, because of the numbers, because of the overwhelming you know impact of this volume of people that ICE has to handle, at least the docket they have to handle, uh, causes these type of problems. But my gosh, this is one of those things where I know that Border Patrol notified them. They were denied space. They notified them again, said, look, this is a, a, a person with a, a bad criminal history, and they authorized detention and then released them. I, I really... It's a head scratcher, Natasha, because this is one of those ones that should never have been released. And uh, it, it's we're, we're very fortunate that uh, we were able to get him back into custody. Okay. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.